Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Sea Strategy Game, and our briefing for today contains a couple of interesting air missions over Northern Europe. So we've got three bombing missions. Let's start with looking at the American Army Air Force. So, we've got two missions for today. One of them is going to be something very novel, and that is going to be an attack by the second bombing group, part of the 8th Air Force, on Black Hammer Nord and Black Hammer Suit. These are very, very important synthetic oil refineries for the Germans. They have got about 30 points of synthetic fuel refineries over here, so that is quite a major part of their industrial capabilities to refine oil. That is, of course, quite important. Now this is going to be a deep, deep penetration mission. It is almost uh, very deep here into southern Poland, Czechoslovakia region. So that is going to be very, very tough. Now the ingress of these guys is going to follow a little zigzag pattern here to avoid the heaviest concentration of luck around Osnabrück, Hannover and Leipzig. But we are going to try to get here. Uh, this is going to be flown by 232 B-24 Liberators. The big issue here is due to the extensive range of this mission, it is going to be escorted right about until Leipzig, uh, Berlin region, so around Dessau. Our, um, our escort fighters will have to turn around even though we've got Mosquitoes and Lightning to engine aircraft over here. Now this is going to be a very tough one, so we are setting it at a very high altitude, hoping that that will uh, reduce our losses to aircraft um, a little bit. Let's also try to do some 48 mission per, per strike. I'm not sure whether that is going to be sufficient, uh, but the targets down here are a little bit smaller targets. So, you know, this is five, 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 five synthetic fuel refineries. So, yeah, let's try to see that. That is going to be very difficult. Also, uh, kind of interesting is the recon mission over here. Ooh, I do need to set that up slightly differently. Now, these guys are going to be flown by F-9 Fortresses. So, again, aircraft uh, that are going to be, well, basically modified B-17s. These guys are carrying quite a bit of fuel and a lot of cameras. Uh, but they are, of course, quite vulnerable to intercept. So, one thing that we might want to do then is let's actually look at the anti-aircraft concentrations here. So, we don't want to probably pass over this area here. But if we could go down, let's say here, well, maybe let's avoid Antwerp. Yeah, like so. And then, well, I guess we can weave through over here. So again, let's try to not go by via Antwerp there, that's okay. And then let's go a little bit to the south here via Jena, Plein, all of this area here. Well, I guess we can go a little bit more to the south. We don't necessarily want to hit Frankfurt, but anything other than that is, is going to be all right. Yeah, so we are going to... We're going to try to come in here via Czechoslovakia in a big, big arc. And the reason for that is basically so we can avoid some of these uh, airfields here in northern Germany. So, yeah, that is going to be our one mission here against Black Hammer. Then we've got a second mission here over Zwickau with the rest of the 8th Air Force. This is going to be another 500 aircraft. Again, escorted almost to the target. It's a pity that we can't quite make it to the target. But that's just the way it is. We're also trying to avoid some of the rural flag area over there. So yeah, uh, these guys here are trying to target. Can I actually check whether we've done that, done that correctly? Are going to try to target the outer union works here in Zwickau. So basically, car manufacturing uh, predecessor of Audi. Right, are you targeting the right thing here in terms of recon? Yeah, you are targeting vehicles, so that's fine. Only 14 aircraft, lightnings. I think that's going to be all right there. Right. So that is it basically for the Americans. Uh, for the British, we're doing something novel. Uh, so last time we did take quite heavy casualties to the flak over the rural area. So this time around, I want to do a nighttime attack. Uh, these guys have, as you can see, a lot of guys here are set to rest because the morale and everything is so low. So we have a very limited striking capabilities with the Royal Air Force this time around. So Bomber Command is going to go to Paris this time. Um, and the main target over here is going to be, again, some vehicle yards that are going to be here in Versailles, which is basically, I remember I looked that up one time, but it's another Ford factory work that has been taken over by the Germans. And a little bit on the heavy infrastructure that is here as well. Then we're going to do some intruder missions to basically uh, have an eye here on all of these airfields during the night. And some air separatists up here, so basically in the pathing of the Americans. So that is hopefully going to be alright. These missions over here can currently not run, because last time our, our missions were quite successful, but they did take quite a toll on the fatigue of the involved aircraft, so these are not going to be joined again. 
And then we've got 2nd uh, second RAF Tactical Force and the 9th Air Force, both of which are going to be conducting ground strikes here against some units that are over here, some tank units, I think, mainly. You can probably try to... No, it's just a couple of uh, uh, ground units in there. Down in the Mediterranean, we've got a couple of missions set up as usual. So we've got Desert Air, <laughs> Desert Air Force providing direct ground support uh, for our units in case they do need to attack. These guys are growing pretty rapidly with a couple of Hurricanes and, well, Hurricanes 4 and 2 over here. So these guys are pretty nice. They are mostly carrying rockets. Then we've got a couple of units conducting ground attacks here. Single engine aircraft, 300 of them. Mostly Typhoons, Hurricanes, all of that. Uh, the Hurricanes are already carrying rockets, so that's pretty nice. And then we've got an air superiority mission up here. Nothing too big then in Italy. And then over here in Sardinia, we've got a pretty interesting setup here, I think. So we've got a strategic air force launch and a 12th bomber command uh, strike here. So both four engine and two engine aircraft striking. And the way that that is going to work is basically the first three days over here, are going to be uh, for the, sorry, the first four days are going to be uh, for the strategic air force. They're going to try to strike the harbor, reduce their supplies that are incoming and hopefully drive them out in the long term. And then we've got uh, the ground attack here by 12th command. These guys are going to come in on the last three days of the week with a recon mission. Um, and these guys are going to try to reduce their strength. This is 700 bombers here, Mitchells, Wellingtons, and all of that. So hopefully that is gonna be have, uh, ha that's gonna have hopefully quite a big impact over here. So that being said, I think we can go ahead and execute our air missions here, see what is gonna happen. Oh, no, 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 no. I should give you a rundown of the background of what happened in the ground phase last time around. So in the ground phase, uh, the Germans did uh, withdraw a couple of units from here. I think they had one Panzer in a Panzer Grenadier or Panzer Division that was uh, situated up over here. That, of course, they have apparently withdrawn. They have built a, a bit of a more fortified line over here in Italy. Uh, we'll need to deal with that eventually. And then they did two attacks over here in... Uh, Sardin or they did three attacks down here in Sardinia and Corsica. So let's start out in Sardinia. They have basically attacked here with these guys. So that's what? That is... Can I just get information on you? That is the 19th Panzer Grenadier Division. They have been attacking this Italian unit up over here. These guys have been assigned some anti-tank units. So these guys were supported by some American 3-inch anti-tank guns. And that was extremely useful because as we can see over here in these battles, if we do look at the information over here, they have lost about 400 men when they are trying to attack, including 10 uh, and in addition to that, 10 vehicles. We can look at the ground losses over here and you can see probably, yeah, it's basically a couple of Stooks that were being lost over here and that is that is really kind of nice. And can we actually see the anti-tank guns over here, the Americans? We don't see that they're doing anything over there, but potentially over here? Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there you can see the three-inch guns, and they were doing a lot of hits here on the uh, on the um, Germans. So that's very nice. There was another battle over here, um, and again, it was very unsuccessful for the Germans. Not quite as unsuccessful, uh, but still kind of nice to see uh, that we are doing pretty good here over here. So I'm very happy that we did support them with the anti-tank stuff. Up over here in Corsica, we were not quite as successful. The Germans here over here again uh, from this group here. Uh, try to strike against these two hexes that are basically combining our mission and combining our areas. Uh, and we didn't really put up a tough fight, as we said. So these guys were uh, withdrawing pretty easily there. But yeah, that's just the way it is sometimes. So yeah, let's execute our air directives anyway. See what is going to happen over here. Let's keep an eye on the losses. We are piling up some losses already, of course. And I'm going to be extremely interested to see whether we can conduct some proper mission on Black Hammer or whether that is going to be a disaster that comes about over there. I've never seen these kind of numbers uh, push up over there, so that's interesting to see. I didn't know that existed. Right, okay, let's start out with a raid on Black Hammer because that is really, really what I'm interested in over here. So you can see we lost a lot of aircraft over here. So that is 30 aircraft from just one group, so that is pretty hefty. On the other hand, the Germans also, so actually it's of course 45 aircraft. On the other hand, 27 losses for the Germans, that's kind of nice, um, but not as much damage here onto any of these targets as I would have hoped, honestly. That is a little bit disheartening. I would have hoped that we could do more damage here. 
Interesting to see that we are still shooting down that many aircraft on their side. So specifically, I mean, you most certainly weren't here when there was some bombardment. And these are ops losses, so probably they would just delay stuff from this combat over here. But you can see at least over here, um, at these altitudes, I think the BF-109 and maybe even the BF-101 is starting uh, to lose some of their advantages. And actually the Mosquitoes here are coming in and uh, doing quite a lot of damage against these guys. So that is nice to see. Right, but then in air losses, we are incredibly, we are losing Lightnings, even though they were not there in this fight. Oh well, but yeah, you can see, actually you can see most of the interceptions happened right over here. So... Up over here in this entire area, there were not that many interceptions, which is kind of nice because I think our air groups did lose sort of the protection up over here. So it is interesting to see. Yeah, up over here, you can see they were being engaged. Well, up, yeah, that's nice. So some of these guys are actually coming in and, and probably losing them some stuff to anti-air fights. There is no AA. Okay. Uh, sorry, there's no anti-air fights. Well, nevertheless, um, it was an okay mission, I suppose. Can we actually look at that? Yeah, so sorties, quite a couple of them, 1,500 sorties over here. Uh, losses 45, that's that's unfortunate. Um, and strategic recon, did you do quite well? I would hope that you did. Um, let's actually look at that as well. So yeah, 8th Air Force over here, uh, these recon aircraft over here. You're doing the fuel, and you're doing quite well, I have to say. That's, that's a nice result over here, no losses. I would have expected much worse. That is very, very nice indeed. But you were being air combated down here, interestingly. Or over, is that over Swickow? No, it can't be. But yeah, the b 109s just can't come up to that altitude and still be very effective. So that is that is nice to see that they were making it over there. What about the rate on Swickow itself? So we've got, we've lost 46 aircraft, uh, 46 bombers, 13 esco escort aircraft against 45 of theirs. You know what, that I think is fine. And we are de definitely doing a lot of damage here against the vehicle yards. So I count that as successful, even though, even though this is of course uh, still quite high losses. But still, I mean, the ratio is okay and we did fulfill our mission. So that's nice to see. How about um, the Royal Air Force, so Bomber Command, let's see what you guys did over here. So, seems like you did a lot of damage here against the vehicles, that's nice, that's nice. Heavy industry, quite a bit of damage, that's that's okay. Manpower, of course, is a little bit um, awkward since this is a French town that we are bombing, but, my, so be it. We're losing a couple of aircraft here, but really nothing to write home about. Only four aircraft lost on our side against six on theirs, so even though I can't see them right now. But still, I think this is this is fairly nice. Let's actually look at who was around over here on the German side. So we've got a lot of BF 101s. That's that's kind of to be expected as these guys are really night fighters. But yeah, we have some mosquitoes over here that are trying to escort that, but only one mosquito. Oh, and yeah, and a couple of bird fighters. Yeah, but the bird fighters really don't do enough over here, so that's that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, no, 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 sorry, that's not what I want to do. I want to have a look at what's going on over here. So, okay, I think this is this is an okay mission. Uh, the strategic recon here, three aircraft lost, that is slightly more unfortunate, but um, what can we do? And then we've got the intruder mission over here, where we are shooting down at least six enemy aircraft, if not more than that, so that is very, very nice indeed. And yeah, no losses of our own, and these air intruder missions, I really, really love them. These mosquitoes coming in and, and basically shooting down these aircraft as they are landing, that's fantastic. And I mean, our experience really isn't great, but theirs really is, so it's nice to shoot down these these pilots. Good, I think that does, no, we've got another one over here, so yeah, just... Okay, two losses on our side, one on their side. Really, really nothing to write home about. Okay, that's nice. What then did happen down here in Italy? Can I actually uh, look at that, please? Can I actually look at that, please? There we go. Right, so ground support, of course, that is only going to happen now in the ground phase. But over here in the ground attack, that seems to be pretty nice, actually. Not that many losses. Only eight raids and, and 300 sorties. That's a little bit. Um, I would have. I would have hoped for a little bit more, honestly, guys. Why did you do so little? 
Well, the amount of the interdiction is kind of nice. Hex Recon is okay over here, so, eh, okay-ish, I guess. Um, and then we've got 12 Bomber Command. You guys were trying to attack the ground units over there. You really do weren't doing that much. On the other hand, you're only pulling in a couple of aircrafts over here. It's not that much, really. Interesting. And then lastly, Strategic Air Force, you guys were trying to bomb the harbour. So how did that go? No, sorry, not 9th Air Force. Oh yeah, but you're interesting as well. Yeah, just not really not really that uh, big a deal. Again, just losing a couple of units. It's really hard to hit a unit just uh, from, from tactical... Uh, from the tactical point of view. Where's Strategic Air Force? Oh, there we go. Bomb City, here we go. Harbour is being damaged a little bit. It's it's coming up a little bit, so that's nice. Okay, fine. Good, that does settle the air phase. Uh, let's look at the ground phase over here. So, of course, we're going to start in Italy. As you can see, these guys have withdrawn a little bit. They are a little bit further away from us than they were last time, which is nice-ish. So, let's actually start, I guess, by having a look at 13th Corps down here, because I think you guys might actually come into contact over here and that might then mean yes okay let's bring these guys here into contact with the germans i don't think we're going to attack yet and um, that would just be wasteful but i want to make it more difficult for them to move out so i think that would be fantastic let's simply move these guys up and that should be a-okay right why can you only move so little that's a bit interesting okay and nevertheless, let's move you guys up over there, so that should be A-OK. -okay. Right, you guys have someone else down here, so let's move you up. Yeah, OK. So we do have quite a strong force opposing them now. We can actually get rid of the AA, I guess. Yeah, so we could potentially overwhelm them on this front, but I don't really think that's too viable. I mean, we have 18 points, they have 14 don't really see the point in, in doing that. Okay, what we can do though is grab these tanks here and try to cut off their rear. And you know what? I think that is exactly what we're going to do over here. So let's try to put them into an isolated position there. Let's try to make sure that they cannot easily withdraw. And then we've got 13, 30s core over here. You guys can likewise simply come try to move up that flank um, as far as you possibly can. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, let's do move you up. There we go. Where's your command? Actually, somewhere in here. Yeah, that's you. So that is okay. Issues too as well. Right. I suppose you can get over here. Nice. And then there's the last unit in here. Yeah, you guys. First British division. Yeah, let's move you here so that we have also control of this airfield. Um, and that does give us some control over this area up here. Let's take the American tanks and uh, move them back here as well. So that we are, again, encircling them a little bit hard over there. Well, I suppose we can get over here, sort of have an advanced position with the American tanks. These guys might as well try to attack us. Uh, but we are in clear terrain, but on the other side of a river. So I think that's going to be okay. Um, and up over here, they are probably going to have a very difficult time as well. So I don't think uh, they're going to be altogether too successful. You guys can move up after all. Right, you guys are... A little bit pointless but let's try to get you towards the front line as well so that's okay ish and then we've got six British division you guys have a little bit of a fuel issue so I would like to well, what I would really like to do is oh look at that Taranto is actually ours so let's look at that yeah Taranto I think definitely is a port that we do need to repair because it would just be so fantastic to get a little bit more supply from there so you guys don't really have that much supply, but I think if we get over here, we could get that uh, field up and running. So let's try to do that. Yeah, it's now ours, so that should allow our, our guys to uh, connect all of this up a little bit faster. And you might actually uh, source some supply from Toronto itself, and that would be A-OK -okay too. Right, fifth core, you guys uh, do advance at least until over there, and that's okay. And then we've got the army, which is going to move up. And then again, you guys sort of also just move up. That's fine. Okay, everyone else down there seems to be okay too. So uh, let's look at the railways over here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to build them up here 
on the east coast um, because I'm not sure whether we how quickly we're going to be able to clear these guys out so it's going to take a little while here uh, to come around and sort of loop up all of this area here but I suppose it's fine yeah I mean we are making some progress um, and at some point we will get to Toronto right then we've got another one down here don't we yeah you guys are also railway repair group now we could of course sort of loop you around over here and start to build up a long line over there but also the region Calabria I think is a good air is a good naval base so well the question is whether we don't want to push up more aggressively instead of uh, having a strong defensive line down here now you guys could move up here no you couldn't are oh, you still on this side of the of the okay fine well, you can't really make it that far anyway. You know what, I think since there's only one point here to repair these guys, I think it makes sense to just start being a little bit more prudent here, have a little bit uh, stronger defensive line down there, and that should be a-okay. Right, that basically settled us for most of our units. We've got still some Americans down here, and there's a couple of other things, but that is okay too. You guys could drop into here, which might be okay. So that's one five one. One five. Where the hell is that? I think it might be over here in Solano. Yeah, I think we've we've reassigned you towards that region. Now I don't see any point landing there. It doesn't make sense to me. We have got these guys here cut off. There's no one else that we could cut off that way. So I'm not going to do an air landing over here just for the hell of it. So that's that's going to be okay. Right, up over here in Caligri, you guys are on the ships, you cannot um, get off. Can you get off? I suppose not. Oh yeah, you can, so that's nice. Okay, on Sardinia, we've got them um, pretty much cornered in this uh, area here. But one thing that we should actually check is, let's look at the withdrawal schedule. So next turn, a lot of these Italian divisions are going to withdraw. So that basically... They say, uh, we've had enough of this, we're going to go home. Um, so, since I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with the assigned support units, what I do want to do is get rid of any, any assigned stuff over here, uh, simply so that we don't lose that ex accidentally in, in some sort of weird glitch. Um, but, I don't, I don't think so, but, you know, just let's be prudent. Okay, you're, you're all doing fine. Right, so what we could do is do some attacks here, sort of just for the hell of it. I'm kind of reluctant to do that, honestly, because I think it would figure into our victory points, and I just don't it feel it just doesn't feel right. So, question is, we've got a strong division up over here. The question is whether we sh want to push up here with a 36 infantry division against these guys and just finish them off here um, while they are being isolated. And you know what? We might as well do that. So. It's sort of a tough fight over here, but at least we can do a deliberate attack here with these guys. So let's just try that out. I want to know how, how well that goes. And the answer is not at all. So they are losing a couple of tanks and stuff, but we are losing so many more men. So yeah, basically this, this is not going anywhere. Um, and you know what? Indeed, we might want to just pull back with these guys here onto the harbor itself because I don't want to be outflanked in that way. On the other hand... They are starting to look a, a, a lot less. Okay, let's do another attack over here. Okay, still holding out. This is this is not going anywhere. Alright, can we pull back now? Yeah we can, so let's still do that. And down here. No, this is this is basically hopeless. These guys have very good fortifications, so they are definitely not gonna go anywhere uh, with an attack here. So yeah, that's that's basically pointless. Um, what we can do, I suppose, is just grab one of your units, move up here, sort of isolate you a little bit more, but it's not really going to be that uh, that useful. Right, we can pull you a little bit over there, that's okay, I suppose. And we've got another tank brigade over here, but again, I, I don't really think any of these guys is going to be super successful, so yeah, that's basically a no. You guys are, that's just your reporting line there, yeah, that's fine. 
but it is tough fighting over here. Question is whether we do want to bring in a lot more guys just to get rid of this port here. Don't think that's really that useful. Right, let's look at uh, Corsica and what we've got over here is again a somewhat mixed up and confusing situation. So we've got a unit over here, but these guys again are, don't really have that much in terms of movement or really anything else. So can you guys move over here? Yeah, you can at least disrupt your supply. And then you could move over here. And we've got at least 12 combat strength here, so... Let's try to do something over here. Well, not you. Let's try it. They are retreating. Oh, and they are retreating down here. Interesting. We are losing more men, but not of that meaningful amount, I have to say. So that is kind of nice. You guys could also move up a little bit. Yeah, let's do move the French into there and hope to disrupt them further. Unfortunately, we can't move you up, so that's uh, slightly bad. But what we can do is try to pull you guys back, and that's okay-ish, I suppose. I hope you guys can't sort of outflank me over here and just sort of grab the port. I doubt it. They should not, they should not be able to move that far. Nevertheless, at least let's try to get the headquarter up a little bit to the front here. That should be okay. Right, speaking of this headquarter, what is actually your army group that you're being assigned to? You're directly assigned to the... to that. That's interesting, isn't it? Okay, and you're assigned to the 5th army. Can I not assign you to the 5th army as well? So that you're at least a little bit closer? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. You guys will obviously need to come with your ships at some point, but... Yeah, the port just doesn't support that for now, so... Eh, what can we do? Right, some American paratroopers and everything, but... Yeah, we are not really shy on troops. We've got all of these Americans here in Sicily. Question is really whether we do want to bring them forward here on the land route. Um, I don't think so, you know. We've got some things that are being lined up, haven't we? Yeah, so you guys are going for... I think you're actually going for Anzio, aren't you? Yeah, you are directly going to land on Anzio itself. And that is okay. I don't I don't mind that. So we've got a single division that is preparing for that. Well, have we got anything else over here then? We've got something in Messina, don't we? No, we don't. Have we got something in Catania? We've got you guys. You've got a lot of damage. So I don't necessarily want you to use want to use you for anything. But we've got further naval stuff down here, don't we? Yeah, and you guys are not really that damaged. So let's return you to headquarter. So that we've got some space in there. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move you guys all the way over here. And hopefully not going to hit a mine or anything. No, that's fine. And you guys are going to prepare... An no, 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 no. I want you to prepare another hex. Yes. Thank you. Right, so we are landing over here already. Question is, where else could we or should we be landing? Now, over here is tempting, uh, but there's one issue, and that is these ports here do exert some level of control. So I wouldn't really want to land over there. What we could do, though, is land also in Lido de Roma, uh, which is going to give us some further control, some ability here to support these guys um, from either side, and that, I think, is, is kind of useful. So... Yeah, I think that's that's perfectly fine. We've got a division that is already set up in there, so that's nice too. And then I think what we could do is grab these guys, get them into Trapani, and again, prepare a new invasion target. And we could land on a very broad front over here. We could try to land in the rear over here as well, so that we are sort of again cutting their railway lines and, and their support levels. It would be nice to cut this, of course. Um... It just might be tempting to to go for Pomatia. But ports are so useful. Okay, let's try to land over here. I know that is that is kind of reaching for it, but uh, we don't have to execute it in the end if we don't feel confident uh, that that is going to work out. Okay, you guys have a couple of support units here. I don't think we need the tank battalion, but the combat engineers are still going to be useful if we're going to land. 
So I think that's fine. A couple of mountain stuff. You know what, let's, let's do another combat division over here. Um, if you guys are supposed to land. So I do want to move you up over here. Can I actually move you up via rail? Yeah, I can move you all the way over here. Then get you still get, still get you off the train because you have more than 100 points. Then I can't move you up any further, but next time you will be able to get into Trapani itself. So that is fine, I suppose. Right, and uh, let's briefly check on these guys here. Yeah, I don't want to do a tank battalion for landing. Because I just don't know whether that is going to be working out too well. But you know what? Let's do a self-propelled artillery battalion. I think that's going to be fine. And at least one, you know what, two engineering battalions. Um, I think that should be a decent setup for landing. What if you guys, combat engineers, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's do another one. Let's do some field artillery and that's, that's okay. Right, what else have you got? Nothing really so far, so let's at least use two of these. Some some mountain battalions, is that going to be useful? Not really, not in this terrain. So, yeah, basically that's a no then, but that's okay too. Right, and that, I suppose, does mean that everyone else simply can sort of move up. You know, you guys, I potentially don't want to move up. I potentially want to merge you into the headquarter. Can I do that? Convert unit. Yeah, okay, I can do that. And now you guys have have the ranges there. And that means I can actually have a look over here. So you guys are landing in Anzio. That would be great. So let's... Okay, I can't support you this time around because I've basically set these guys up all, all set these guys up. So that's okay-ish, I suppose. Right up over here. You know what? Let's disengage you and let's have a look over here. So have we got... No. Interesting. Maybe it's going to only be around next turn. I don't. I don't quite know about that. So that's okay, I suppose. Right. Good. Uh, you guys are moving up, and then the paratroopers. Now you guys are set to land down there. I don't think that's really that useful. So, if we were to land at Ansio, where would we want our paratroopers to be landing? Now, if you are landing in. Leader de Roma and Nancio, this might be a tempting target over here. The issue is, if they are going to oppose us, that is not going to be very useful. Um, I don't want to land too close to the sea, because there's always a chance that we're going to drift into the sea, and that would uh, simply not be very nice. So, let's actually set up something over here. I think it would be nice to disrupt their rail services, and just make sure that we have some capabilities of moving out. So... I don't want to overreach though, because that might be one bridge too far. So let's try to get over there, and I think that might be an okay target. Right, everyone else is doing fine. We've got some smaller units down here. What are you guys actually doing? You are parachute battalion. Okay, let's do move you into here and give you a target. And it is tempting to land down here. I don't know what happens when you land on a mountain, though. So, yeah. Let's let's not do that. Let's try to give you this, this spot here. Hope that that is going to work out. Good. And next time around, we will be starting to set up some uh, naval patterns here against, the, in, against this area here. So that we can make sure uh, that our invasions are not going to be completely disrupted. Good. That being said, I think everyone else over here is pretty fine. Um, I'm going to, of course, uh, do a little bit of changes here in between episodes, um, but just, you know, all of the admin stuff, so not really that important. Oh, and by the way, notice all the rain that is now happening in uh, this area here. So let's actually look at the weather forecast. So the air weather, yeah, is, it is already pretty bad, and it is going to only become worse next turn. So basically all of Germany is going to be covered uh, by rain, heavy rain, actually, as it, as it seems. So, yeah, I'm not happy about that, but maybe it's going to give us some respite to get new units. Uh, speaking of new units, I should point out one thing, and that is we have got a new type of aircraft in our fleets. And that is the P-38J uh, Lightning. So, we only had the GH before, now we've got the J. And the big difference between these guys is their radius here. So, these guys have a much higher radius, which is going to be extremely useful for us. And going to be very much uh, in our favor. It's also good, just a general performance upgrade, so that's nice. Uh, but it is going to take some time to switch these guys over. You can see we are producing 29 per day, and we've switched over one of our groups. 
which is now um, using these guys, but it's only at 56 out of 60 aircraft. So that is slightly unfortunate. So it's gonna need some time to build these guys up. Um, but as you can see, we are also taking quite a couple of losses here in the rest of the groups, in the groups that are still losing the GH. Uh, we've got in fact, six, we have 60 aircraft short. We only have 47 in the pool. So we will need to switch these guys over over time as well. Um, and I suppose that's fine because probably a lot of these guys here will have accumulated a lot of fatigue it seems 94 fatigue that's that's brutal you you guys are you just took a beating you've got a couple of kills that's nice but my oh my you've got also a couple of historical uh, guys that are flying you yeah but you can see a lot of these guys are starting I need do need repairs so yeah definitely do need some replacements and we're gonna switch them over but that is one important change one curiosity I noticed is that um, if we do look at the P-47, right? So we've got the P-47C, we've got the P-47D5 Thunderbolt. These cars are both out of date, as you can see by this little uh, symbol over here. And we're not producing them anymore, right? That's okay. We've got still 200 or so in the pool. Now, if you look at that, it says that it is only produced until July 1943. Now, it's of course September. And at that point, it's going to switch over to the P4715, which is going to start to being produced in, it does say somewhere, first year, there. It's basically, this should have been produced for, uh, for some time already. Now, there is some capability of, of these being produced, 32 factories in fact, and these guys are being produced down here, somewhere, right, there. The thing is, they're being produced with the America tag instead of the US tag. And I don't know what that means. We've got 64 of these guys. But if we do look one, at one of the squadrons that are currently flying the B-40, uh, this uh, D-5 variant, and let's say we're going to grab these guys here, and I'm going to try to upgrade them, you can see there's only the D-5, there's not the D-15. So this is puzzling me. I don't understand that. Um, but maybe it's going to switch over at some point. I, I just don't have any idea. Right. Also, I have no idea when we are going to get any P-51s, so that is going to be very, very interesting. That being said, I think we've made some good progress over here. Let's see whether the line holds uh, if these Germans are going to try to break out. Uh, luckily, we have uh, increased the interdiction here on their retreat path, so honestly, I'm kind of happy about that. So I think they, they should have a little bit of a tough time uh, breaking out. Um, especially, especially if they would go over here. So I think this is kind of nice because that would just sort of mean that they don't really have any capabilities there. Right. Hope you enjoyed and do hope to see you around next time. Bye bye.